Hardly a day goes by without another grim warning about the harm we're causing to the environment. Opinions vary as to the pace of global warming, but there's now almost universal agreement among scientists that we urgently need to explore alternative forms of energy. Alternative energy research is a field in which the universities of Birmingham and Warwick are already leading the way. They recently agreed to collaborate on a pioneering project to develop hydrogen energy as a green fuel. Now there's been a hydrogen project here at the University of Birmingham since the early 1970s and it was started by Professor Rex Harris who joins us now and of course three or four years after that you had the oil crisis so there was the urgency even then to find an alternative form of energy. Yeah. Well we started the program of course not because of any energy crisis but we were interested in hydrogen and materials but uh, as it turned out in the uh, mid 70s there was a very substantial oil crisis. Price went up and there was a lot of renewed interest then in using hydrogen as a fuel. So this looked very encouraging and we felt that what we were doing was highly relevant. Unfortunately, as always, the price of oil went down again. Uh, everybody lost interest in, the, uh, uh, in looking for alternative fuels. But we went on with the work, of course. The aim of the project is to find ways of using hydrogen to generate energy safely and efficiently while producing the minimum amount of carbon and greenhouse gases. Hydrogen energy enthusiasts are convinced it has a vital role to play in the future. It will be utterly dominant, I believe, in uh, 50 or 100 years' time. Of course, I won't be here then, but uh, the fact is that our grandchildren will, will make use of hydrogen in a big way, there's no doubt. In this next 10 or 20 years, people will start installing hydrogen fuel stations for cars, hydrogen will come into buildings, we'll have methanol in our laptops, which is a, a store for hydrogen. Right now, hydrogen is 1% of our fuel equation in Britain. We see it being 5%, 10%, and maybe in 50 or 100 years, maybe 80 or 100% of our fuel will be hydrogen. The Hydrogen Energy Project has just been awarded a grant of £6.2 million by Advantage West Midlands. It's a great boost. It allows us to look at projects over the five to ten year timescale and it enables us to do a broader range of research both in Birmingham and Warwick than we have been doing at the moment. This kind of funding will take us up to the level of the best labs in the world in the US, um, in Germany and Japan. The Hydrogen Project is just the beginning of a joint energy research programme between the two universities. The programme will eventually encompass more than 40 researchers in nine academic departments. Universities have always been independent in some way competitive uh, uh, entities and therefore having the encouragement to work together and bring together those different expertises is a great opportunity for us. It's allowed us to get together a critical mass of researchers between the two universities, which not only makes a huge impact on a national scale, I think you'd now have to say it is an international scale collaboration which should make an impact uh, uh, on the world stage. The project is the first big initiative launched under the banner Birmingham Science City. Birmingham is one of five places granted Science City status by the Chancellor Gordon Brown. It's hoped the project will establish the West Midlands as the leading research centre for hydrogen energy and help to bring economic prosperity to the region.